Jonbo, Habari Zagani, Gina Lakuni Felicia, and Jesu um, Nakupende, you. God bless you, and I'm so glad that we could we could send this to you and um, wish I could speak more Swahili, but that's all I know for now. <laughs> God bless you all. And um, from Operation Jesus Pictures in America, we greet you in Jesus' name. And we are thinking of you. We are praying for you. Um, and we really, um, we really want you to know that Jesus loves you. God bless you. Quite very. Praying for Uganda. Spirit. Move with Pastor Betty and Pastor John. Move there. Among yes, the people and show your presence through many healings yes. and miracles. And so they can see you and know you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. So they feel you and yes. they hear your voice. And they can look to you and know that you'll help them in every way. Yes. And that you who yes, created Jesus. them love them. Yes. And that you, you will communicate with them as they can with you. Help them to talk to you and to hear from you. And bless their families. Help their economy and their crops. Mm -hmm. yes. Please, Father. Help them to yeah. Help the children to be educated and to learn. Mm -hmm. yes. Bring teachers mm -hmm. to help to teach them. Yes. Father, yes. help the families. Yes. Help the yes. them. Help them to have the food they need. Yes. What they need, Father, yes. to make it. Yes. 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 Let them be your people that you love, that you love to reveal yourself to, and that you love to show yourself yes, to. Always. People Jesus. that honor your son Jesus and love him, and that love you, Father. Yes, Give words and wisdom to Jean as he speaks about you, and to Betty as she speaks about you. Yes. Yes. Let her pastor the people there well, mm -hmm. and lead them in your name. Heal those with sickness, Father, that yes. come to you. Father, please. In Jesus' name. Jesus healing is a miracle. Yes. Yes. Heal them with no matter what. If they have cancer, mm -hmm. if they have AIDS, yes. if they have headaches, no matter what is the strong them that hurts them, Father, heal them. Mm -hmm. Heal their bodies. Let there be miracles. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Heal yes. the children when they get sick. Yes. Protect them from malaria. They get it, let it pass right out. Mm -hmm. Let them yes. get well. Yes, Father. Please, Father, please. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be a spirit among them of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. They love one another. Mm -hmm. They love they you. help one another. Father, draw near so they see you, feel you. They feel you, they hear you. Mm -hmm. They see you in dreams. Mm -hmm. They feel your love and compassion towards them and they want to know you, and this leads into eternity. And so then they lead among the African nations, and they reach out to others, and they say, He helped us, He'll help you. Yes. He yes. loves us, He loves you. Yes. He yes. heals us, He will heal you. Yes, Father. Help them in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. All in Jesus', Jesus name. Yes. Let them look at the picture of Jesus and feel Him, mm -hmm. and let them feel His presence and His miraculous power. Mm -hmm. Let Jesus be honored among them. Yes. Father, give these packets to the tracks and let them get there in timely manner, Father. Yeah, let them get there let quick. Let there be no opposition to that. Let them just get them into the hands of the people, Father, please. Yes, Father. In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Yes, Father. Yes. Yes. Yes, Father. God bless Uganda. God bless the crops in Uganda. God bless the children in Uganda. God bless the healing from AIDS in Uganda. God bless the healing from malaria and from typhoid in Uganda. God bless the schools. God bless the government. Let them look to him and help them bring wise men and women into office. God bless the church is there. Let them look to you, Father. God bless the people in Jesus' name. Let the enemy be pushed back in Uganda and let him know here's a nation that believes to the Father and that looks to him and the Father cares about them. A blessing to all of Uganda in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus name.
Uganda, our brother, we love you. And we in America greet you. And in the name of Jesus, we say Bless greetings us. from your brothers and sisters in America who serve the same God, who love him as you do. And Jesus has been a friend to us and helped us, and we know he'll be a friend to you. God bless you, Uganda. God bless you. God bless in Jesus you. Name. Okay. Greetings to you in Uganda from Operation Jesus Pictures in America. And we're Operation Jesus Pictures Fellowship, OJP Fellowship. We love Jesus. We give his picture out all over the world. And we send his picture to you so that you can look at him and feel his presence. And this picture of Jesus that we send is taken from the Shroud of Turin, which is the burial cloth that was wrapped around Jesus when he brought himself back to life. And when he entered into his body and he came back to life, life radiated out from him and made an image onto this cloth, the shroud of Turin, which is kept in a town in Italy, Turin, Italy. And so um, there's been many miracles associated with this. And when you look at the picture of Jesus that came from that, you feel his presence. And there's been miracles associated with the picture. Not because it's a picture, but because of Jesus himself. Because Jesus draw near, draws near, and he heals, and he helps. And he is near to help you. And so from America, we wanted to say hello to you, our brothers and sisters, and that we're praying for you. We just laid our hands on the map on Uganda, and we pray for you. We pray for your nation. We pray for your crops and your schools and your children and for the government there, that they'll have wisdom to do what's right and that you will reconnect with your Creator through Jesus, His Son. And so we want to encourage you, talk to Jesus and He will talk to you. If you talk to the Father, He is your Creator who made you with love. And we all will talk to Him in, in eternity when we leave this body, when we enter into the life above. We'll know him forever and ever and ever. And joy will be there. But there's no reason not to talk to him and know him now. Eternity has already begun. Jesus has already restored us to the Father. So talk to Jesus. And he will answer you. And he will, you will know this is true. Because as you ask him for help, he will help you. And as you ask him for healing, he will heal. Yeah, Father. Father. Father, just heal people of malaria, Father, and AIDS. And whatever sicknesses they have there, Father, yeah. just heal them. Yeah. And let people look on and your typhoid picture. typhoid fever, Father. Yes, Father, what stop, they have it? Stop the mosquitoes from spreading their um, sickness, sicknesses, Father. Because is isn't like typhoid. Yes, Jesus. Yeah. Heal those who get sick. Heal them swiftly. Yes, Father. Yeah. And as you heal their bodies, then heal them in their spirit. There's so many wounds and so much wrong and so much harm is done that's happened all across the world that people are wounded and hurt. So heal in their spirits, Father. Restore them to this fact. You love them. You made them because you wanted to. You wanted to know them, and you wanted them to know you, and you care about them. And let them come and turn to you and know you, and let the Holy Spirit show them about their lives and what they should do and what you want from them. And let you and them go forward together. Heal the sick among the children there. But those that are innocent can then be brought before you. Just lay hands on them, Jesus, and heal them as you did when you walked on the earth so that they'll know and see that you're near and that you're loving them and that you care. And when we pray for healing from AIDS, Jesus, we know that man's sin, mankind's sin, has brought um, harm through this. And we know that what you really want is faithfulness between a husband and a wife. 
a man and a wife, that you want faithfulness and you don't want sexual diseases such as AIDS to come in and you don't want harm to the family and this is what's right and this is what they need to come to. But for some it's too late. Some have already made the choice and now have AIDS and others have AIDS who are innocent. They got it though they did nothing wrong. And so we just ask you, Father, out of the kindness in your spirit and in your heart, Father, that you'll heal in Jesus' name. Heal those who already have it, whether they deserved it or don't deserve it. Just heal out of your love and because of the power of Jesus. Yes, Father. Heal those. Heal women who have different diseases and problems. Help bones to grow strong. Help headaches to pass. Help serious diseases to be healed. Those who have problems with their thinking, who've had mental problems, help them to come to clarity of thought. In the midst of it all, be there, Father, with your clear thinking, with your clear right thinking. And let them know that as it says in the scriptures, put on the mind of Christ. Put on the mind of Jesus. Jesus thinks clearly with love and right always. Help them to think right and clearly. So let them put on his mind. And Jesus, back this all up with your presence, with signs and evidence. To the Ugandan people, again, we say greetings in Jesus' name. And from America, God bless you. God bless your crops. God bless your country. So we look forward to hearing from you anytime. And um, God bless Brother John, who we've known for years and has been a faithful minister of the gospel. God bless Pastor Betty as she leads the church there and helps her and helps you. God bless her and her family our brothers and sisters in Jesus. May you come to know him well. May you hear his voice often. May you see him with your spirit. And may things change for the better, for good in Uganda. And may that spread all across Africa. And may it spread in America love for our Creator, our God, who loves us so. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, Pastor Jean. This is Teresa, and this is our church on OJP property. And wanted to show it to you. This is the outside of the building. Jesus got for us. Oh, and there's there's our dog Rex. Actually, very very Char's dog. Must have Char. That's why. He has come out because he knows Shars out here. So this is the outside of the church. You can see that we put a cross up on the on the top of the church, honor Jesus. And to the right here, we have a forest that we call it our forest. It's got two olive trees and then some beautiful plants. This is just a place of beauty and and peace that that you can just be at and feel Jesus. Got some things, beautiful plants here. And we have a rock fountain over here and I'm going to go inside the church here in just a moment but I thought I'd show you this because it's it's very peaceful and people f feel the just the calm of the this forest and these plants and here's our rock fountain and it does have water in it we just don't have it going right now we've got a little bed of flowers in front of it so that's the forest to the right of the of the church so I'll take you in the church. And that that's our air conditioner because it does get mighty mighty hot and musty in there. So we're going to go in the church here. 
And here we've just, we've just had service in here. It's Sunday morning. And this, this here, Jean, is a board that we post things. We post things that... We, that pe things have happened. For instance, these are people that have written to us requesting pictures of Jesus, and we sent them out. And in May, these are the ones we send out in May. We sent them to New Zealand, Nigeria, Russia, Ireland, Canary Islands, Germany, Argentina, Ecuador, Chile, Uzbekistan, the UK, Britain, Cuba, India, Colombia, Mexico. We send out pictures of Jesus to all those nations. And then in June, we send out pictures of Jesus again to many nations. And then in July, we sent them to Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Russia, South Africa, Yemen, Oman, also to uh, Georgia and Ohio. And so we'll have things on this board, pictures of request pictures of people asking the right and ask us to pray for them. And also um, we will send, we'll put up newspaper articles. For instance, Silvana said that the father had showed her that the enemy was moving in Yemen. So then we put, printed some articles this next week that came out about what was happening in Yemen. And so just showing that the father had said was right. So, so here's, uh, just looking around, here's the table that we have in the front, and these are our little communion cups for when we have communion in here. Here's uh, Charlotte Ann Tierney, minister. And here's a picture that somebody made of Silvana in the past, because Silvana used to lead the singing with her guitar. And so when she was younger, she did it. So somebody sent us this drawing they made of when Silvana used to lead the singing for Jesus. And then here's the organ that we have. Lucia's learning how to play it. Here's a picture that Silvana painted. And this is a copy of, of a painting about the Declaration of Independence. So we have a, a copy of the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights and, excuse me, it's just some things on the wall in the church. This is about a song about the little brown church in the, in the forest, in the veil, because our church is kind of like that, just a little church in the forest. And uh, Felicia's daughter, Lydia, painted this cross for us. Here's some more things about American history. Here's the first prayer of Congress, the first Congress in the United States when they met together. Then they, um, then they sought the Father, so they knelt down, and here's what they prayed. It shows what they prayed. It shows them kneeling down. George Washington and others knelt down. And there's one this one time, another time that they met in a Continental Congress to pray together, and George Washington and some others knelt down. And afterwards, this one man got up and talked about freedom and about God, and everybody was moved by how moving it was what he said and how right and good. And that man was Patrick Henry, who is an American hero from our founding days, and that's um, he's a direct dress is a direct descendant from Patrick Henry. The Constitution. So, just showing you around the church a little bit. There's our little fishy. It's just relaxing. And we have Bibles and song books, and then in the front, here's the pulpit. Jesus. Let's look at the word and listen to what Jesus is teaching us. 
Right now we're talking from Matthew. And you can look on YouTube if you'd like, John, and look at OJP Fellowship. And you can read, watch some of these sermons that we're talking about what Jesus has been doing and saying from the scriptures. And so here's a cloth that we have that we got from Tanzania. And it has some Swahili written on it, but I don't remember what it says. And here's our Operation Jesus picture sign. Giving pictures of Jesus all over the world. And then on the boards, we'll write down what Jesus showed during the week. We just erased it. And I uh, wrote, wrote praying for Uganda, but we've been writing down what Jesus said during the week. And then on this board, we pray for people. Who's praying, because Doug needs a hand tool. It costs $500. We need to raise the money. We're praying for people that are lonely. That they, just that Jesus will draw near, near and they'll know. And then Cammie's a friend of Dana's and she is only 32 and she had um, triple bypass on her heart and then there's been some problems. She has three children. So we're asking the Father to intervene and to heal her, to help her because those children really love her. And then we're praying for Pastor Betty with the typhoid and that he'll heal her and also for her family because we know her daughter had been sick. You know, and he'll help her. And then here's the map that we lay hands and we pray for the nations. Like we did when we prayed for Uganda earlier. So here's our little church. OJP Fellowship. Yeah. Here's the cloth. Here's the cloth, and it says, it says on it, Matembezi Mshikamano. You know what it means? It means unity of brothers or something yeah. along that line. So, I looked it up online. So. Yeah. <laughs> this here's a painting that Silvana did. Silvana painted this and we call it the Lost Bride. Jesus' people. He, we're all his bride and we're just out there. We're lost. He wants to find us and get us back. All people, all over the world, how he loves us, or his bride. This cross came from Chimayo. It's a place in America that's famous, that people will walk on pilgrimages. Sometimes 90 miles they'll come there, carry a cross, where they come to seek Jesus. And there's been many healings there. And so we went there to pray for people to be healed, and then we brought, brought back this cross. So, God bless you, Jean. We love you, we love you, we love Bethy, and all the children, DDA, Leticia, Leah, Ruth, and little Samson, who's getting big now. God bless you all, and Betty, and your children, and all of you, our friends, in Uganda yeah. and in Rwanda. One of the valuable and beautiful things to know about Jesus is that he follows our lives starting from before the womb to beyond our death. This is God, mighty and powerful, everywhere at once, with no boundaries in his way, yet he cares about us. Imagine what it must be like for him to see the infant, the baby, the toddler, the teenager, the young adult, on into the years of our middle age. Then, if he wills, onward to old age and the threshold of death. He knows the comings and goings of billions of people. He hasn't forgotten one of us. He loves each individual person deeply. He looks on us as we look on our own children. He rejoices to see love and good in us, to see us grow and create and build, to do good in the world around us. He also sees the sin in us, hurtful, destructive to those around us, 
to our families and our relationships. He sees the blackness of self over others, which is our sin, leading to bondage and death. He lives through every moment in every murder on earth and every suicide and all the violence and hate in his heart breaks. Jesus wants our freedom with every ounce of his being. Day by day, moment by moment, he is with us, seeing all the events, good and evil, of our lives. He mourns for us. He sends his spirit and his angels to help us, to lead us to the one who created us. Jesus made the way through his cross. He weeps for our pain and enslavement to darkness and does everything to rescue us, including giving the most he could give, his own life. We are not alone. He is with us, among us, with power to save. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he is the path to freedom. As you think about Jesus, who was born among mankind, remember that he is real. He can speak and he will. He will speak to you. Talk to him often and listen for his response. He will answer your cry and show you the meaning and purpose he has for your life and for every single life he made. Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift, 2 Corinthians. Father, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Let us give you our love, our friendship, and a desire to walk every footstep of our lives at your side. As you gave us the gift of our lives and the gift of your Son, let us give to you in return, and let our friendship grow every day from now through now. This, without a vision, the people perish. So has been talking about this. She woke up saying it. She was saying it. She woke up without a vision, the people perish. Hello, everyone. Jean and everyone with you. We wanted to show you the arbor. And this is the arbor patio right here. We showed you the forest and the church. And we'd like to take you into the arbor as well. This is something that Jesus um, told us to build in 1997. And here's a barbecue patio. We have barbecues and have people over at times. And this is the front of the arbor. Now, let me show you something on the arbor patio. We've got some pews set up. It's just a beautiful place. has a lot of shade. People can come and just be here. And here's the door of the arbor. We put a cross up on our Jesus. And I'm going to take you in the arbor. This a place that people can come and just be with Jesus. It's very peaceful in here. Lots of shade. And we do have a fountain set up. And we'll turn that on for you as well got some benches we have lots of seating area and here on the door we put up a large picture of Jesus so that when people come in they can look at him talk to him another bench and we've put some every year we put in some beautiful flowers and here we have a statue of Jesus with two flower pots next to him. And this, this is the cross area. We put two pots of flowers next to Jesus and we put something up on the cross here 
And this is an image of a of a woman who's clinging to the cross. And then there's a a little a saying on the bottom of this that says, "Simply to Thy cross I cling." And that that is we need Him. We painted this yellow. And this is intimacy with Jesus, the yellow. And here's another beautiful pot of flowers. And places for people to just be able to rest. People have come in that have had sicknesses. I'm going to go turn the fountain on for you so you can see that. People with sicknesses that have come in and just been at peace and here with Jesus. There was a woman that uh, came one year. She was uh, she was in the fourth stage of cancer, and she had heard that um, somebody that we had prayed for that had cancer and was in her stayed given her three months to live, and we prayed for her and Jesus healed her and and the husband of this woman found out about it and he wanted to bring his wife and ask us to pray for her so they came and it was um, on Memorial Day in May and when they came we came into the arbor and we sat in the cross area on the bench and we prayed for her and then we found out just two months less than two months later in July that she was completely healed when she had been in her fourth stage of cancer and the doctors had said that there was really nothing else that, that they could do for her and Jesus completely healed her and they called us or we had called to check with them on July 3rd and they told us that she'd been healed It's very peaceful and people just come and they sit and they just can be in here with Jesus. And I'm sitting on one of the lounge chairs that we have in here. You can see that we could see Jesus. His picture. very peaceful and these olive trees that we planted in 1997 now they've really been grown up huge and they provide shade almost the entire day for most of the arbor Jesus told us when we built this that it was for us and other people, others that wanted to come and just be with Him and have restoration and peace and just refreshment in their spirit. And many people that have come that have had, we've had barbecues and different things, they've come in here and they've fallen asleep in the presence of Jesus. My father, he has passed away two years ago in February. And he was a, he came and he laid and he slept in the arbor and now he's with Jesus. And I'm so happy. But he was able to rest and have peace in here. So we wanted to show you this place that Jesus built for people to come 
and be able to spend time and be with him. And any of you, if you ever come to the United States, you're welcome to come here. We invite you and you can be here and just come into his presence. here we put a statue of a lion because Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah so here's the beautiful arbor on the OJP property that Jesus had us built for people um, be with him. We know Jesus is going to move with miracles there in Uganda. We're so excited to be able to send you the gift. And here, let me show you this. This is something that we put up in the arbor. This is a song, and this song talks about coming into the garden. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses, and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. He speaks, and the sound of his voice is so sweet. The birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave me within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known and that that is where we we come in here and we're with him and you now you've been able to come in here as well God bless you all. God bless you all.